I don't mean they're always hard to open. That's exactly what I didn't want to happen. I open this fruit cup and then it's sprayed all over me. What's up, guys? So, yesterday was the 19th. Give me one second. Yesterday was the 19th, which is exactly one month before my art show, April 19th, okay? For that art show, I made this table right here and I released the build video for it yesterday as another announcement. Hey, we're having an art show, you should come. That table is basically going to, for those of you who missed it, it's going to be my, my signing table, okay? They provide, the gallery provides a table, but it's just like a fold out table with a black tablecloth to make it look nice. I wanted to do something that's like, got a little artistic flair to it. So <laughs> you can't really see cause it's so dusty, but I got a little fossil in there. Hold on, just in case we're having dodgy reception here. I went through the comments this morning and there are some great suggestions for uh, the finishing touches, if you will. I asked for your suggestions and many of them uh, are good and much of those are the same suggestion and one of the suggestions that I thought that I would do uh, right away because I actually have to move this out today um, just to make room as you might be able to see Clint has cleaned up if you watch that video that did not look like that <laughs> <laughs> uh, this still looks the same uh, I cleaned that bench off because I actually used it, uh, which there's going to be a video for that's, that. That's what happens when you have a bigger project to do and you're like, there's no room to do it. So that's forced cleaning. Yeah. Uh, much of that is my fault. But, oh, no, uh, both our fault. Um, anyways, I'm going to bring that to the gallery today, but I didn't make the sawhorses yet. Good thing. Um, I actually built that several days ago before I released the video. Um, I don't know, maybe, maybe I don't know. If you follow my Instagram live, then you will have seen it then. And I can't remember, about a week ago is when I finished it, something like that. I don't know. Anyway, doesn't matter. I am going to take some of the material here that I was buried in this mess, such as these squares and make my favorite suggestion. Instead of putting it on sawhorses, put it on other crates that hold other presumably cool artifacts. So we're gonna make some fake crates to place that on top of, and that's going to be my signing table. That's gonna be the top, obviously. And then we're gonna make two legs or maybe three legs, probably two. Um, so, Follow along. I won't be interacting with the camera very much. This will be just kind of a annoying ASMR. These tools are going to be loud, so you might want to turn down your volume. If you see me come up to the camera, then you know I'm going to be talking again, but I won't be talking from far away, most likely. So you won't miss anything. So I'm going to try to position this in a way that you can see everything that's going on. I'll probably mostly be digging through there. If I decide to dig elsewhere, which there isn't there isn't really stuff elsewhere. Uh, I'll bring you along so you can kind of see the whole process. But basically what we're doing is we're building a couple more crates uh, to place that on top of as my signing table, which you'll be able to see uh, all together in the gallery in uh, our, at my art show uh, April 19th, if you would like. I'll probably also post it on my Instagram. I'll also probably put it in a future vlog. So let me turn you guys around so you got the better camera here there I think you'll be able to see everything from here pretty well Not bad with the maybe I'll bring it ah oh, yeah that's even better okay I'll have you like that and we'll go from there so welcome to uh, a 
live build. Oh, I should plug you guys in too, so you don't die on me. <laughs> that would suck. That happened to me the other day on Instagram. Which, by the way, please go follow my Instagram. Oh, we're at 97%, so we're fine. People are saying, what's up, Clint? Hey, guys. <clears throat> put hay in the box. We're actually going to put... Oh, you know what it was? Remember when I... Stuff? Yeah, the stuffing... Yeah, it's... Uh, it's uh, a it cardboard. People do use that, of course. Uh, it's... Man, Jim told me what it was. A couple other people. And I'm going to get some of that, I think. Because what would they have used? Like, it, there's there's this type of years ago. There's this. Right? Type, well, people are still digging up fossils today. Right. This isn't necessarily an old right. crate. That's it's, true. it's just it's just a forgotten crate. It could be from like the 70s. Right. Right. It's not necessarily from yesterday, but. Uh, can someone remind me what the packing material is? There's this moss that people use. Okay. It looks kind of like old man's beard, but it's different. Uh, and then there's uh, it's a type of moss. There, there is a type of moss, yeah. Can someone remind me, please, before we start, what it was? Uh, wood wool, raffia. No, those aren't them. Is Jim here? Probably not. Jim's doing some foraging. Sphagnum moss. No, that's not. I mean, those might be things too, but gosh darn it. What the heck was it? Yeah, this is a different. Because I looked it up. I, oh, you know what I could do? This is going to take up so much time. I'm sorry, guys. Oh, we'll go like this. Packing moss, maybe. And then there's this other material, which let me see if the comments have come up with anything. Is it in fact from Spanish Spain? moss? Thank you, Irene. Hey. Okay. Huh? Is it in fact from Spain? I have no idea. Like Spanish cedar? Like Spanish cedar that's not from Spain. And then there's like this other stuff that's made from, I think it's from poplar, some sort of aspen tree or something. Which, which is another, it's like a fiber, wood fibrous thing, and so it's not straw, but it is a natural thing. I forget what it is, but uh, Jim, Jim told me about it. Anyway, all right guys, here we go. Build commences. Build is commencing here. Uh, Excelsior. Excelsior, if I'm saying that correctly. Thank you, Shelby. Yes, you. I think you even said that on the, uh, on the, uh, on the on the build video. By the way, if you want to check out the build video, you haven't seen it yet. There's a link in the description to what this pertains to. All right, I will carry on. Carry on with the wayward son. Carry on. All right. 
Where do you want these rivets? Oh, here. There was a spot for them? Yeah, they go in. My uh, left. Yeah.
do. I'll like this. Since I made that whole project basically all out of reclaimed and upcycled and scrap material, I'm still trying to take that pile away. Like, I have trouble throwing away stuff, hence the big piles of random stuff that you might see as junk. But like, I don't see it as junk, so I keep it and then hopefully find a use for it. And so, these squares, they were thrown away because they're too small for many projects. Who wouldn't have made these stupid little boxes? So let's see. I did just waste one though. I'm not thinking. I'm not thinking ahead here. That's okay. We got plenty to work with. Oh, I have to turn on the compressor. That's going to be annoying. It's right beside you guys. That was, uh, that was the gallery. Here's another example of something I didn't throw away. All of these, every single one of these was free. These are all brand new. Dwindling down as time goes on, but we have tons of these rails. Oh, shit. I mean, these are not scrap type things, but these are types of things that I am lucky enough to get. Oh, I like this. Well, now we can run some longer stuff through, I think. Right? Yeah, but it. it Feels better. Does it feel better. We should take that off though. Yeah. Maybe. And maybe those. We'll see. Yeah. See where we should move them. Maybe somewhere else. Guys, look what Clint did. I don't know if how well you could see it off, off to the side there, but he's moved this. It used to be here. So I have a bunch of faux beams boxes to build that are like 13 feet long. So trying to find space in the shop to run stuff through the sander and the planer and whatever else. And, so we're yeah, trying so. to reconfigure a little bit. A little bit pushing that over and back. Well, those, since since uh, Caden's not here anymore, we can take that and move it here. What's that? That cabinet. Oh. And that toolbox, too. Yeah. And then it'll open up the door, too. That's I just a place to file shit. Yeah, it is. All right, anyway, I'm going to continue on here.
Oh, I don't need that here anymore. Sorry, I just need that for reference. Well, it depends on the pressure. It is a bit sketchy because you don't know what's under there. Yeah. Four and a quarter.
I'm using glue just so that it's a little more structurally put together because these pin nails are not going to hold very much. Since they're stationary, there's going to be weight on it, it probably would be good enough, but glue will make it better. And who knows how many times I'll want to reuse these. And you know what, I might actually just reclaim one of these boxes for something else. I show my Patreon, I have this thing called Leftover Christmas Gifts. And maybe one of these will become the box for that. I don't know. We'll see. This is a quick and dirty build, though, as Adam Savage would say. Check those out guys. I don't know what that's all about, but they're weird tasting, but they're okay. What is that? Peak beans? What's the brand name? Peak beans. Freens. Summer beans. Peak beans with the blueberry cookies. Oh, by Christie. Oh, by Mr. Christie.
four of them that are turned off, and I didn't really pay attention to them, I just figured they were whatever. In the sub -pan. Yeah. Oh well. Good now. Yeah, I'm going to plug this back in then. We need a, like a 10 foot extension cord for this, so we can run it underneath, come up, and plug it in. know any of the other words. There's a piece when you are done. Done like that? Oh, actually, you know what I do? Probably makes more sense to do this. Later, we're going to no. to rest. Oh, what am I talking about? I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot, my friends. Don't you try to do video, the build video was, oh, you should age it. There should be more age. But it's not an old crate. It's it's a new crate. Not new, but like, it's not hundreds of years old, like the fossil is millions of years old. It's it's just a crate. When when they, they, people are still finding fossils today, and they still crate them up today, and even if they didn't find it today, they would still crate it up to ship it somewhere. So, one person said, torch it to add some age. I'm not sure how that adds age necessarily, but I think just adding age regardless is not really needed for this. Uh, it will age by itself from being handled and mishandled more so. Um, so, I'm not worried about that. It's kind of like an ongoing thing. Now, I don't know where it'll end up. I think we all just get the whole... Uh Jones thing going on. Yeah, but Indiana Jones takes place in like the 50s. No. World War II. Yeah, the 50s, well, 40s, I guess. Well, bring that up. Lost that in the grass. Where did I put that? That's not that old though. It's been four. You know? 2045, right? That's when they ended, yeah. Ended the end of the war.
I didn't split. I'm not worrying about the glue squeeze out because in real life you wouldn't worry about the glue squeeze out. You probably actually wouldn't even use glue. I mean, I did with the crates that I built, uh, but I didn't use wood glue, I used PL. Back in the day, when I had to crate things occasionally. This has tacks in it. This, these pieces of wood were used for a spray booth once upon a time.
a brain fart there. I can see if you can see what I'm doing down here. Or you can kind of see. Let me move this down just a little bit. There you go.
I really like the look of this piece of wood. If I uh, didn't already cut it, I might even try to save that for a project. I don't know. Natural creativeness is awesome. They all know what they need. That's not very loud. Thank you. 
It might be in that bag there. Oh, then I don't know. It might be in that bag. But there might be a Philip. The uh, the glass for the crate there is from Mary Borgstrom's house, the Potter's house. Lots of you will know me from that uh, series on YouTube. This is Mary Borgstrom's hammer. That was an accident that I grabbed that one off the hammer wall, but that's her her initial slash actual signature there. Anyway, we're coming along. We're almost done crate number one. in a minute what is the site number I should put on here. Maybe it'll be the same site number, 138. But if you have any suggestions that pertains to our channel or something, if you want to give yourself a shout out, let me know.
go. And now I need a little bit of luminol. putting a side on here. Uh, I likely won't use this as a receptacle, but there's a chance I might. Doesn't look like I have any pass-through. Oh, I do actually have little, little bits of pass-through. This is just going to be the bottom. This is just the same material and weight. So, basically going to sit just like this. suggestions for the, just like that one, the site number. It doesn't have to be 138, but I'll probably make it 138 if the suggestions don't make sense to me or whatever. Or anything else that you think would be cool on here that I could do with, that would make sense that I would write it. Let me see here. I think we talked about that before because I think we should have done our code on the shop 8675309. Oh, maybe. <laughs> you could put one of your sculptures inside, it would give it weight. What the heck? I don't want it to have weight. <laughs> hey, you should do something to make it the opposite of what you want. <laughs> <laughs> How about 5 by 5 the radio check code that means good signal strength are loud and clear? 5x5. Okay, doesn't really make sense for this exactly, but I do actually like where you're going with that. Hope you saw and uses it. I suggested in the comments yesterday video that you put property of the Maker Museum. I thought it would be clever because of the Ushitat logo. Oh yeah, I did see that. Uh, I don't have a, I can't make that stencil like right now, but, um, I could do that. I don't have to make that a stencil. I could just, I could just, I could just write that with permanent marker. What was the date of your brain injury, Josh? I think that is worth recording even if just in code. Some stamp making it a mystery skull and crossbones or toxic porn. Okay, May 1st, 2022. No such thing as scraps as Jim. I like your, I like your, I like your style there, Jim. 138, all the crates came from the same site. Oh yeah, okay, so in theory, there is another dinosaur in here. Site number 42, the answer to ultimate question of life, the universe, and everything. What does that mean? Site 42, what's that a reference to? What is it? Uh, site 42, the answer to the ultimate question of life, the universe and everything. Michael Cherry says that. 
138. Site 306. Okay, what's site 306, Jim? Give your give. Some of you are giving your your reasons, and some of you aren't. And if I do, if I don't know the reference, I'm not going to use it probably. So just also put in your your what the reference is. Some of you guys saw the Buzz Lightyear in the glass. That's like a nod to the the fact that I'm releasing my hot dog space uh, paintings. And I mean, he's not he's not known for anything to do with hot dogs. At least I don't think in any of the movies does he do anything with hot dogs. I mean, they go to Pizza Planet. That's about it. So, holy cow. Yeah. Holy cow. Look at the dust in there, guys. That looked kind of like... like... cake. <laughs> okay, let me let me get back to the comments. Sorry about the noise. I'll move away a little bit. Throw six is a Saskatchewan area code. Was a shout out to me as a joke. Ooh, I like that. Okay, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do that. Showing you both for not knowing your Douglas. Ad I don't even know what Douglas Adams is. Oh, the compost bin vlog number. That's another good one. Ah, ha, ha. I don't know. I don't know when, when, uh, what, what number that was. I forget. Site 3825 spelled on an old phone. It works the F word. 3825. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know what we could do, Hannah? If you don't mind someone going back in my catalog there to find the the uh, compost thing, you could probably just search Joshua Alexander compost bin, and it'll probably come up. Tell me that number, and then I'll put in the 3825 as well. But what did Jim say here? Jim, what was it? 305, did you say? 42 is from Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Oh, I never saw it. Actually, I did see it. Such a boring movie. Uh, ooh, one of two on one box, two of two on the other. I like that, actually. I like that a lot. Uh, shit, what did, what did... I missed it. I'm, I'm, I can't find what Jim said. 306, 306, there we go. Okay, hold on, hold on, okay. I need a stencil, I wish I could, I wish I had a cricket. Yeah. Karen, Clint's wife has one, and so, we can do some stuff there, and we can do some stuff with the marker, if she's willing to make another one. Let me grab a marker. Did he say 30 what? 305? Hold on, hold on. I know it's here. 306, 306. Okay, site number 306 I have there. And the reason why, guys, I'll show you real quick. Unplug ya. So that's what we got. The reason why I want to give a shout out to Jim 
is because he's actually helping out with some material supply with this project here. Can anyone guess what it is? I am making a vlog. I'm not going to tell you if you're right, but... Got a bunch of hammers. I decided to use axe heads as well, but... Yeah, so Jim gave me this. Uh, this. Um... Uh, this. And this. And on the underside, uh, also this, I think. He might have given me this one, but I actually don't remember. And then this. This is a ball peened hammer that was forged into a cross peen hammer. I think he gave me this as well. Um. Yeah. Oh. It's quite heavy. Anyways, thank you very much, Jim, for all the material. We're well underway. You can see my welds are absolute shit because I had to really hold it there to get some penetration. Um, this weld is not bad, but it's also terrible at the same time. But I actually got like a puddle going. These seem to go a lot better. It would help a lot if I cleaned up my material more. I just used a wire brush, but it's okay. If I had a stick welder, we'd be in business. We'd be in business. So thank you, Jim. And also for the other things you do, your continued support. As as many of you also show as well. I'm not I'm not trying to say that that Jim's the best because he's the only one or anything like that. I just appreciate Jim. Uh, uh, two of oh, come on. Sorry, I'm I'm you you're on a bit of a unstable platform here. Here we go. There we go. I appreciate Jim to a great degree. And so yeah, I wanna put that there. So okay, we got site 306. Uh, and then, did someone find, where did I put that marker right here? Did someone find the, uh, the, uh, the, I'm gonna write it down so I don't forget it. Did someone find the, uh, the vlog, the, Whatchamacallit vlog, the headache vlog. And I know, I know I saw it somewhere in here. So I'm looking out here, I'm looking. Area 51, yeah, we could do that. Uh, 162 was the compost bin. Thank you, Renee and Nadine. Okay, 162, okay, I'm gonna write that down here so I remember it. And what was the F word for the T9? Uh, thing, Hannah, could you re re write that if you're still here? All right, see you later, Dave. I still got to drop off those cars for you. I guess we get the answer when he finishes. Oh shit! Did I start saying something and then I forgot? Yes, the flattened one is one I sent, and I think the under. Ball peen is as well, but I have 14 ball peens that have handles, so it wasn't that big a deal. Aha, <laughs> there we go. Well, I appreciate it. You, you could put the longitude and latitude coordinates of the fossil finds on the side of the crates. Oh, someone did suggest that. I don't know if that was you, but someone did suggest that in the other video, too. I like that idea, too. That piece must weigh like 50 pounds. Yeah, I think it's about 50 pounds, probably. Hannah, 3825. 3825. Okay, so we got site 306. I think I'm gonna do item 162-3825. I might do that. So I'll put it here. Site number, what was it? 306. And then we'll go We'll go, no, what, what can we say that's better than item number? What would be a better, what's better than, what's better than, than item number? What would be like a catalog term that we could use? 
Does anyone know? Does anyone have a suggestion? Exhibit number? Ooh. I like exhibit number. And I like lot number as well. Serial number? Uh, okay, I think we'll do exhibit number. What would be the short for exhibit? Would it be EX? What's the short for exhibit? Because I just don't, I don't have that much space on here to write exhibit number. Is there a, is there a, is there a shortened, abbreviated thing? Specimen. Ooh, I like that too. What is short, what is, what is short for exhibit? I mean, X to the Z exhibit the wrapper. X to the Z. That actually might be it. I wonder. Property of the maker. Yeah, I'm going to get that, a stencil of that. I'm not going to write that with marker. I'm going to, could you get, do you think she would mind doing that? Doing property of the maker museum stencil? Yeah. That'd be cool. I'll have to spray it on at the gallery. Oh, I'm okay, it's EX. Yeah, EX is short for exhibit. Oh yeah. Everyone said it at the same time. I feel like you'd probably write it on all of the right? Or maybe you would. Maybe you would because I remember when I was in a environment where we shipped big projects. Most of the stuff was not crated. It would be just wrapped in plastic. But we would put it on the corner, like on, on the right-hand corner. Sometimes we would put it on both right-hand corners. So no matter which way you put it, you could always see it. You could always see the like the lot number or whatever. Not always, but, but oftentimes we would. So I have it here and there. I feel like I probably should put exhibit here as well. Another reference from the channel that you guys can remember that I can make it. Property of. I can even I can even just print it on a piece of paper and staple it to it. You know, I don't have to get a stencil made. Okay, let's go look for some stickers. I I used a lot for this, but I should still have some left. Thanks to Amy for sending these. Oh look at that! We got some fragile. And we got uh, this side up. We got a bunch. Okay, good. I I didn't know that I still had this much left. Hey Josh, can you put the other side of this for me? Uh, yes, sir. Give me one minute. Sorry, guys, for the jumbliness. Yeah, I'm going to 
sorry, I looked at too hard. I'll come back to the comments in a second. Every time I sent mail, you got stickers. I only have about 300 left. <laughs> nice. Okay, so this, this is the top. up the stencil but that's probably what you would do in real life because whoever if you would create it and then you would bring it to the carrier the courier carrier and then they would put their stickers on probably disregarding the labels oftentimes at least that's what they do to me I don't have very many fragile stickers left so I'm actually just gonna put on Here, uh, I freaking have another one over here. Is this gonna work? Uh, probably.
number one is done. Biohazard? Well, it's not a biohazard. And you wouldn't ship biohazard in a... I guess you would put the thing that you ship the biohazard into a wooden crate. Property of Ushitat? Yeah, I, I mean... Property of something, I have to see. Oh, the unfinished kitchen stamp. I'm not going to do that, but I, I, I wouldn't be opposed to that if it was something else. Okay. Time to build crate number two. I need to go to the post office and get some of those plastic envelopes, you know, where they like open it, you put the stuff in. Oh, yeah. 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 So basically, I'm doing everything that I can in the shop, but come showtime, there might be a little bit extra on it. I don't know about yet. So 
but I still have a spot to sit underneath it. So, five plus six. There, okay, so that means I have to make it narrow. I have to make it. Let's see here, what do I want to make? I want to make it. I'll make it 22 inches, but then I can still have. Yeah, 22 inches to do it. And then that, it won't look awkward, I don't think, that this would be on top of two smaller ones if I had it like that. Okay, 24, 24, 24. Oh, now I understand why the person wanted this to be more weighty. More what? Weighty, so that it wouldn't be a tip hazard, I think. It won't be, no, but I think that's just what their logic was. Classic. Okay. 
Could you uh, give me a hand? Dr. Jones, Dr. Jones calling Dr. Jones is referencing. Does anyone know? To those that don't know me, I'm a hugger. Hugs to all I missed. Well, hello, glow. Hi everyone, love Marie's idea to borrow from that how about property of I Finn Gerpaint. No questions about his PhD status then. <laughs> I'm kind of glad I decided I wasn't worth the heat in the shop and took an off day today so I could hang out in Josh. Well, there you go. Too bad you didn't actually come over. You should have come for a drive, Jim. Could have used your knowledge that you store up in that big old beard of yours. Yeah. Could help me rebuild my drone sander. <laughs> okay. We're almost out of glue. We're almost out of glue, dude. You store knowledge in beards? I don't think. I think so. Why didn't wizards do for the lives? Where'd you put the, uh, oh, never mind. You ever see a wizard without a beard? No. Nope. Never. Not even one time I've seen a wizard without a beard. Dude, I forgot to check the comments for that. 
came to this. Oh my god. Stop. Stop with the Dr. Jones. Okay. Now one thing I didn't think about is obviously I need a big piece for the top of this. friends. Okay. Almost smacked my head on on this. Clint always smacks his freaking eyebrow on here. Well, right on top of my head. Or actually this one right here. <laughs> now it, it's an even bigger hazard because now there's nothing. This used to be over top of this machine, but now this machine's moved over here, so it's going to cause some issues. Okay. I think the snake is named Priscilla for not sure. It is named Priscilla. Uh, Josh, we love to call your animals dogs, cats, chickens. I was only once seen your beautiful snake and not even sure what her name was. Can you share her with us again soon? I can. Uh, I love it. You have such a creative mind. Oh, that's not even close. Uh, and put your heart and soul in everything you do. I have. Great admiration in your channel. Well, thank you, Darlene. All the boxes in this place are going to be a heavy load. Ah, I don't know. Did you ever see a wizard minus a beard down by the bay? <laughs> well, minus the beard, you just described my husband. Maybe he is a wizard. He could be. It's just a fire drive. Not sure why I didn't. 
Google it. Ultimately, Aqua's Dr. Jones should be viewed as a loving homage to Indiana Jones and a song about him. It's doubtful anybody involved with the franchise views it as canon anyway. Yo, thank you, Renee, for looking that up for me. Okay, I'm going to ignore the comments now while I search for some, some wood. Or as my good friend... Actually, I don't know him at all. I don't know why I was about to say that. I've never met the guy. <laughs> Uh, but he is a great maker. Come on. Sorry. If I, I'm not looking in the camera thing, so I can't really see what I'm doing. But anyway, Bobby Duke would call this weird. Okay. Is it a possible that it's in here? There is none in here. It is impossible. Okay, guys, close your eyes. We're about to show you some secret stuff. Not secret stuff, but future vlog stuff. It's not that interesting. It's not that much of a spoiler alert. But let's go in here. Okay, this piece of wood. This piece of weed is probably... Do it. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, you freaking guy there. Okay, it's 31 inches. Okay, we'll use this. It's painted, but I don't think it's painted on the other side. Okay, perfect. 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 Perfecto. Or as the Germans say, Or something like that. I don't know if you guys can see. Hopefully you can. I mean, it's not that interesting. We grab wood, but. Maybe that's what they would say. I don't know. Why is the German language so aggressive sounding? Okay. I'll come back for you guys. I'm not going to do what Rose did to Jack. Ugh. Just lets him fall into the water and then says, come back. Come back. Dude, you're the one who made him sit in the water on your big ass comfy door. Come back, Jack. I'll never let go. Just kidding. I'm going to let go right now. Otherwise, I'll die too. Okay. We're going to use... Sorry. Watch your... Watch your... Okay. Okay, you guys are now on the crate. This is Crateception. Okay. There we go. Uh, I hate snakes. Give a warning. <laughs> Because showing it before showing it, well, it's not going to do anything to you. That's that's not how videos work. But there's also Papa Jones. Okay, so that Doctor Jones, Doctor Jones is by Aqua, and it's an homage to Indiana Jones. Remember when I didn't believe the snake was real and demanded to see? It? Oh, is that why I went and got it? Oh, your snake in your basement? Yeah. I hate snakes too. Freak me out. Because the leader hose and shrinks. Oh, that's why there's got such an aggressive voice or uh, accent. Gale equals German. Well, oh, that's what perfect means. Come back, dude. That movie is sad. Titanic. Yeah. Sad. When I was a kid, went and saw that at, at daycare. Okay, they showed it in, in daycare or. Uh, they didn't show it in daycare. They, uh, we went to the movie theater. I don't know how old I was, like probably, well, I was in daycare, so I was probably three. Weird show that. And too long. Yeah. No, I was probably four. I don't know when it was. How old I was. But, uh, my classmates or whatever you call them, daycare mates, they're crying. And but I don't cry at movies, so I was like, wait. Are we supposed to cry right now? <laughs> it's just supposed to be sad. It was sad. I thought it was sad. 
I didn't think it wasn't sad. I was just like, can we go back to his artwork real quick, though? <laughs> Second slow.
Germans say for perfect. I don't even know why it said German in the first place. Oh, too bad this isn't set up. I could run this through to get. Okay, probably. I just wanted to glue it because it's a painted. But, that's okay. So I can use some of this. Perfect in German is perfect. Alright. Perfect. But it's probably like, perfect! Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Alright. All Germans are angry all the time. They are. They're never not angry, and if anyone tells me otherwise, they're blind. <laughs> and then, like, the Italians, they probably feel like, no, but for real, why does it sound so angry? Unless they're like, unless it's like, oh, Jim's right. The leader hose get tight because when they're wearing the leader hose in, they're like, oh, frosty teeth, right? They sound like butterflies, but then as the leader hose and tightens, they're like, oh, snake and shark, bang. And then, they, my, my, and then they take it off, but it's too late. Did you say my Freiken shorts? <laughs> Wait, did I say it was actual word? <laughs> it sounded like you said, oh, my Freiken shorts. No, I didn't say that. <laughs> I, was, I was just saying nonsense. That's funny. I don't speak German, so I don't know. <laughs> I hope I'm offending people. <laughs> Everyone mocks Canadians. Oh, all the time, and it's funny. It, and you know what's fun, makes it funny is that it's not. True. Lots of it's just not true. Yeah, it's like the perceived perception. You're just like, what? That's what you think. The what? It's the perceived perception right. where you go, what? That's what you think. That's that's hilarious. It's all Canadians are polite and live in igloos and live in igloos and have a. I don't even like the cold. No one likes it. I don't mind it. No one likes it. Oh. Oh, a tube or fur? Oh no, these are one by. Oh, we might have enough one by to make to cut down. There's a bunch of shorty one by fours behind those plywoods. Also, I think. Oh, perfect shock.
Ah, that's going to be stuck in my head now. Very classic. Let me do this a little bit. Move you back a little bit, guys. Oh, I gotta plug you back in, actually. The box. Huh? What's very classic? Oh shit! I forgot what I was gonna say. <laughs> well, the boxes look cool, anyways. They look original. Oh, Gale equals great, awesome, cool. I just listened to a podcast yesterday where they broke down the whole Titanic movie and discussed what was real history versus what was made up. Yeah, wasn't wasn't Jack just made up for the whole movie? Wow. I wonder if Josh will have 138 pieces of art to display at a show. Oh, there's going to be more. But that would have been good. Is that piece you cut for the top thicker than you used for the other? Double check your heights. Oh, it is thicker. I'm German descent. I'm not offended, but if I said that in German, it would sound like I was. <laughs> but you was offended? This person, Vintage Vintage Tin Randy, says, I'm German descent, and I'm not offended, but if I said that in German, it would sound like I was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you just you hear me, and you're like, Zelay, come I try to and then I'd be like, whoa, dude, I didn't mean to offend you. And you're like, no, what I meant was, dude, that's funny. <laughs> you know, I swear, this, I don't mean this in an insensitive way whatsoever. I think that, I think that it's a terrible thing that happened in history. But if the Nazis were not German, if they were like French, not scary. Not scary. No, I don't. I don't know if people would have been like, "Oh, let's do what this freaking lunatic is saying." They'd be like, "Oh, imagine just being like, oh, come and survive. You should do this thing over there, eh? Let's take all their land and kill all those people for no reason. We are better than them. No? Like, you'd be like, shut up. <laughs> shut up. You're not better than anyone." What if it was Canadians? <laughs> yeah, oh, we're just doing the whole which we're trying to take that land and er eradicate a whole race of people, eh? When, when people would feel like shut up. Let's just all get along. <laughs> <laughs> Canada trying to start World War Three, but they're just like, hey guys, let's not fight. Just okay? be friends with everyone. <laughs> I hate to do it to you, bud. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, what the heck? I didn't take my phone. Yeah. 
perfected slog. <laughs> Will I, shall I, do I need to put in pieces here? I probably should put in some pieces. I don't know if I'm going to put them all away. I'm just going to use what I have. Like this. I'm just going to use this. I'm just going to use this scrap. It doesn't matter. Now that's a drywall screw. You can go straight in the middle. Oh, what I should do actually. Now a French guy who sees this is going to come up to me and threaten me. <laughs> hey, my friend, come here for a minute. You think I'm not scary, huh? like they're trying to like make perfume with their accent but like Quebec is like more yeah they're like they're like like they drink perfume like, oh, oh, right yeah it's, yeah, it's Guys, you almost fell there. My bad. Let me get, hold on. Ooh, that's important. Hold on a second, I'll be right back. Actually, no, I don't have to go anywhere. We're good. We are good. Uh, it's my Brian's, my buddy Brian's podcast, whoops, where they take different movies about real life events and break them down, re reviewing history. Oh, send a link, Renee, in case people are interested. Jack was made up, but there were lots of real people depicted in the movie and historical facts around the events. Like the like the like the drunk chef. Wonder how many miles slash kilometers Josh puts in every day. Yeah, I'm not very efficient with my travel, huh? <laughs> the guillotine of the French Revolution. We are gonna chop off your head. Yeah, that doesn't hurt at all. I guess it is scary, but I mean, I wouldn't be having a good time. No. Just, just stick your head in there, my friend. There's definitely worse ways to die. There are... All the ways are worse than guillotine. Guillotine is like... I would think a guillotine would be pretty quick. It's instant. You've been so long that I got a chance to catch a few minutes live. Well, hello, Tori.
But then Hearst vilified him at the time because of a fight they had a few years earlier. Wait, what? What is Jim saying? They really vilified Is Ismay in that movie. I don't even know who that is. I forget. Crate contents. One specimen of dead goat. Oh. What? Yeah, dude, that would be if 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 uh if uh what's his name? Freaking why am I forgetting his name? If Matthew still watched my videos. He would get a kick out of that. French is such a flowery language it uses about three times as many words as English. Right, it does. And it's so hard to learn. For me, it was, anyways. Review, reviewing history pod. Nice. Thank you, Renee. Remind me about that podcast later, if you don't mind, because I'd like to listen to it as well. I listen to many podcasts, and I've caught up. I like listening to the back catalog. I've caught up on them all. What? <laughs> I feel like French. I, I worked with this French guy. His name was Pierre. Of course, his name was Pierre. Of course. And he talked like that all the time. And he would he would always point with his middle finger. He'd always be like, that thing over there. He's like, you want to get it? I'm like, dude, why do you always point with your middle finger? He's like, oh, it's just in case people think it's rude to point. I'm like, you're still pointing and you're making it worse. He's like, oh, it's just in case you don't want people to come up to you and say, hey, dude, please do not point at me. And I'm just like, what? I'm like, dude, you're like flipping them off while pointing. That's not. He goes, that man over there, you see him? I like that guy over there. <laughs> <laughs> Pierre. John Pierre. But everyone called him Pierre. Trudeau? Pierre Trudeau, no. Damn, nice. Okay, I don't know if actually there is enough of these for this. Oh, you know what? Yeah, because it's taller than that one. Excuse me, guys. i got to move you again. Whoop. Sorry, that thing was in the way. Sector 51. Ah. Ismay was the big chief of the White Star Line. Wait, you're, you're not making any more sense. I admire people who can listen to podcasts while they work. I can't focus on two things at once. Oh, really? I love it because it's like I listen to it while I'm driving, all sorts of things. Okay, that's so close. All right, my friend, that is way too close. It's too close for comfort. I don't like that one over there. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do around there, around the bottom. So I definitely probably need more, but we are going to try our best for this one. My friend, my friend, that's companies and half, my friend. I got three and a half. Half of three and a half is an inch and three quarter. Inch and three quarter. <laughs> What's the difference? I was standing off to the side, I think. Wait, was I? 
Rewind the tape. Frick, that would have hurt. That could have got me in the face. But I, I pushed it too fast for it to do anything, which is, I mean, you're not supposed to go fast, but in my case there, it helped. That's a lot of tension. That used to be together. What happened is when you cut it open, right, there's a space at the end of the board, but since the tension goes like that, it pinched the blade, but since I pushed it through quickly, it did that jerky thing that you saw, and then it went past it because it went over top of it and the tension was relieved. Frick, that could have hurt. That could have hurt. But it's protected slog. so it doesn't keep it separate, although it wouldn't have kept it separated anyway because it would have still touched a little bit later. That could be dangerous, my friend. we have I don't want to dig anymore, Grandpa. Let's do that. 
Jimbo with the reminder. And I'll probably remind you that I don't like to call Jimbo. <laughs> He's giving the mic. I don't like that. I don't know why. It's probably because of the dog name. This is not a sausage finger job. No. You guys can see this. Oh, you can see it. Hello, everyone who's coming on. Just making something for the table over there, which you saw the video of yesterday. Those glasses make you look like Zach from Ghost Hunters. I don't know what that is. Have you seen an Etsy? There is a dude who sells table saw push sticks that look like a hand with some of the fingers cut off. <laughs> That's funny. Reference number. Ooh, I like that too. Do you listen to the Must Remember This podcast? It's a good one on movies in Hollywood and different genres too. Oh, nice. Wait, what were you yelling at the screen for? What did I do? What happened? What was I not doing? What was I doing or not doing? Or you were saying perfect and slug and you were waiting for me to say it again. Dude, it might be easier to do that on the anvil, which is right here. Oh, it's actually looking for that. <laughs> Some people think that it's a... It's a thin to be like for an anvil, but I've never known an anvil that had...
Wunderbar. Wunderbar. Okay. And a lot more. For this one. What? Another blue bottle left there? Yeah, all three of them. Oh. oh my gosh. Hey, can you open this? garbage can here. See garbage! Or as the French would say, that's a now. Or no. You know what I mean? Like the ones who wear those green hats? Like the... Did you ever watch the show Sing? Sing? Yeah. No. There's a little, there's a little German uh, fake guy in there. He's got one of those voices. Actually, you know what? That would make them have the high voice. Out of wood. No, I have these. 
as these would. I have constant skew rule work.
none of these are big enough for that. That underneath, or wait. We have a two by four over here. Applying two by four. If I was doing this yesterday, I would have gotten some from work. A crate chair to go with it. Actually, you know what? That's a fantastic idea. That is a fantastic idea. I don't think I'm going to do that today, but I think I will do that. Thank you, Glow. This is all hardwood. I don't want to use that. Uh, there's a two by three here. There's a full piece. I'm going to leave that. I'm trying to find some scrap. What is this? Those are not 24 and a quarter, I don't think. Let's have a look. Why two and a half? Nothing. You don't have a two by four like that's twenty four and a quarter long in your truck, do you? Let's check. have struts okay let's see here oh it looks like he's gonna make a dump run <laughs> that's why he's in check in here uh, that's funny. well I do not see any at first Tease. I didn't find one. 24 and a half inches. Oh, you do? Okay, found one.
Oh, beautiful. Beauty. Yes. Okay. Let's put you guys back over here.
dirty and flirty. So you can see what I'm doing with the uh, with the stencils and such. Move you like that. How's that? There we go. Showing off with the gun. <laughs> Flip that up, but you should still be able to see. Where did I put that, that stencil? Oh, here it is. Where's that rattle can? Here it is. I'm freaking blind today or something. Need new suggestions. What lot is this from? What lot is this crate from? Or uh, what site is it from? What site? We got 138, we got three something. 306, we got 306. I need suggestions for for the uh, for this one. What site is this? I'll check the comments in a second as soon as I finish putting on the stickers. I only have, that's all I have left. Got another fragile sticker here. So I'll make it so these two sides show the most. at the comments now site number remember your references tell me what the references are so I understand what they mean okay okay the arc was taken to warehouse 13 well that's a tiny arc I think so yeah site 420 well that one doesn't need any explanation but I don't smoke so 
331, what does that mean? What's 331, Glow? Area 51? Man, I should do an alien. Like the Mexican government did. Site F-350. Oh, I get it because of my truck. But you know what they say. Wait five minutes, the weather will change. Okay. Sector 51. Where was the Ark of the Government taken? I don't think it was even discovered in real life. But you mean in the show, in the Indiana Jones. Oh, 250 for your last vlog number. Obviously. Duh. Thank you. That's a perfect... Let's see. Uh, huh? I don't remember. I remember that movie, but I don't remember it that well. That was where the, from Red and Tails, the French peas were taken off from. For us play on the What was it again? 250, right? Oh, wait, that was the last vlog, though. That, this, uh, that video was not a vlog, it was just a build video. How long is the build video? It's 29 minutes, right? Can someone check how long is the, is the build video from this? Is, or for the table, I mean, for the table part. What's your address? I'm not putting my address on here. I don't want these people to know what my address is. Huh? Oh, Renee, shut up, Renee. Don't say anything. You're gonna get you're you're in on it because you figured it out. But not just don't don't say that. But I like that. That's so good. That's so good. <laughs> Number fourteen eighty seven. What is that? Again, I, I need to know what, what these references are. Specimen number 041924. How many crates are you making? I'm going to make one more crate for the seat, but I, I don't know if I'm going to do that today. I'll do that another day. Site 32024. Ooh, I like that. Today's date. Oh, the show day, 0419. That's good, too. The site number is going to be a three-number thing, but we could do the, uh, the uh, exhibit number long. 2930. Oh, okay. Nine thirty. Okay, no, that's... Too long. What is the month year of Dakota's birthday? Well, I don't know. That's again, it's too long. We need to do. We need to do. We need to do three number things with three numbers in them. I'm putting you guys on the spot to help me. So don't feel obligated, but but do it anyway. <laughs> Four twenty-five, your birthday. Four twenty-five. Yeah. No, let's do that. Let's do the. Let's do. What did that person say? Four four nineteen. We'll do four nineteen, which is the day of the show. But we'll do four nineteen for that. Okay, so we got 138, we got a 306. Um, okay, so we'll do site 419 here as well. Site 419, okay, now we can do the, the exhibit number. So exhibit number. 
What did I do on this one? Okay, what was what were some of the things that we were saying again? Sorry, I should have wrote them down. Six six six. Lol. Oh, well. He's revealed it many times. Have I? Have I revealed it many times? I thought that's what she was doing, Renee. <laughs> I mean, I've said how old I was many times, but I've never. I mean, I have said it truthfully sometimes, but I've said it untruthfully more times. I was also going to say something like that. I was going to say, what a sneak way to get Jack's birthday. <laughs> Three twenty twenty four. Okay, what are those references again? Sorry. Sorry. Explain the references just so I can get it. I was asking about Dakota's birthday. Well, asking Dakota's birthday obviously is going to... You're not slick. Site 1969, Man on Moon. Oh yeah, right. 1487, the year the hot dog was invented? Okay, that's what we're doing. This is exhibit number 1487. What the heck? 1487. Who invented the hot dog? The day of the show is about the hot dog paintings that I'm doing. That's awesome. Yeah, who invented the hot dog? Does anyone know? Probably like... Some New Yorker. Frank? Frank, yeah. Uh, Frank Wiener, probably. Frank Wiener. <laughs> I don't know. It's a terrible name. Well, wait. Is 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 it is is the like when you refer to your unit as a wiener? Is it off the hot dog or is the hot dog off? That's true. Like which which came first, the wiener or the penis? The hot dog or the penis? <laughs> you know what I mean? Which came first? Uh, twenty ninth. Oh yeah, and then the twenty nine thirty. Oh, we could put the P.O. box number. Oh, I should go ask for some shipping labels and stick them on these. I was also going to say something like that. I was going to say, oh, yeah, okay. Do Ashley's birthday. Alex just went live. Worst on a bun, German. Dr. Frankenfurter. Eh. Nah. Dr. Frankenfurter? Just making that up, or is that real? No, that, that can't be right. Charles Feltman. What the heck? Charles Feltman. I thought it for sure it would be someone named Frank. How did you come up with that being a dog? Yeah, hot dog? Yeah, I don't know. Okay, exhibit number 1487 I gotta put here. Apparently Alex went live. He would do that. He would do that, freaking Alex. Fourteen eighty-seven. Okay, and I'm still gonna get. I'm either gonna put staple a piece of paper on there or get a stencil made uh, that says property of. And I have to think of something. So uh, I will probably check the comments again. If anyone watched this far, there's no way we've only been live for forty-two minutes. That that cannot be right. Uh, but this says forty-two minutes and twenty-five seconds. Um, if people watch to the end and they have suggestions for the property of, I liked, I can't remember who said, who suggested that. They said of the maker shop. I don't want to do that. I want something that's a little more, just, oh, Renee, Renee, you're a freaking beautiful soul. That's what I should do. But now that I, well. Frick, Renee, you're so good. I didn't even think of that, but that's that's so obvious. That's so obvious. What? I'll explain it to you after. Okay. It's an ongoing Easter egg in my videos that has something to do with something. 
And some people see it. Some people see like the the Easter eggs I put in. I haven't put one in a long time, but sometimes people see them, and most of the time, no one does. Oh, okay, that's what I gotta do. I got okay. Well, I've said too much, so I probably won't do it that way, but we'll see. Well, put your suggestions in the in the comment section about property of what? Property of something. I'm going to go now. But first, before I go, let's see them all together, shall we? I'm going to set you guys up over here. I'm going to plug you in. I don't know what battery level you're at at the moment. Property of Jeremy Hansen, first Canadian to go to the moon. Oh, is that right? You could put it real small and hit. Oh, nah, no, it's, it's got to be obvious. You know, that's like that's the part of conspiracies. Apparently, people who believe in these outlandish conspiracies, they're like, they have to tell you. Which, that doesn't make any sense. They have to tell you. That's one of the rules to controlling the world. They have to give you hints. And so, if the hint is too small to be seen... Most people are lost on what the heck I'm talking about, but Renee knows, and potentially a few other people know. All right. So, I'll probably have it like... Actually, I'll probably have it... why I never got into it before. It was just takes too long. It needed to happen. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's more or less how I'm gonna set it up. I'll take a picture on my Instagram so you guys can see it. It'll be on the oh, stupid thing. Yeah, that's cool. It'll be on the Ushitat Instagram. Hold on, let me blow her off. Yeah, I'm just gonna turn the compressor off so it doesn't turn on while I'm talking. There we go. Hold on, hold on. Okay. <coughs> Let me catch my freaking breath here. Let me go grab a chair. I will probably make a crate for the chair as per Glow's brilliant suggestion. 
But for now, let's just act as though we have this chair. I'll use this as my uh, model or my uh, like reference. Like this is how big the chair is going to be. So let me see here. Sorry about all the moving around that makes some people seasick. <laughs> You know, I actually made this too big, which somehow, I don't know how I did that because I thought I measured properly, but I think it'll be fine. As long as my, I, as long as I can fit under here. Oh yeah, this is perfect height. Let me turn you guys around here. I did just scrape my leg on it though, so. This right here. I'll be careful of that. But right? So if someone brings a piece, I will probably be standing, but if I needed to be sitting, right, this is comfortable. And we can see the different things. Yeah, I like this. I like this a lot. So thank you to the folks who suggested this. This is a great suggestion. The folks who said, hey, don't do sawhorses. Sawhorses make sense, but this makes more sense. Because sawhorses are on every site, every site, everywhere. Usually when you see them in facilities, they're, they're those aluminum ones. They're not wood. But... Yeah, I'm I'm liking this a lot actually. Um, yeah. Let's see here. Makes it look more authentic if the crate size is a bit off. Sure. It was a short man. Oh, that would be great. I should make one of them property of Ross Gail Frick. He's from Friends, Ross. Yeah. He's he's a paleontologist. Oh, that's funny. A paleontologist who never goes to work. He's a professor. I hope you're doing good. I missed Madness Monday. Hello, Lewis. Property of NASA. I was wondering about the two. If he exhausts himself with all the moving, how will he make it through the show? Right. Maybe, oh, maybe something for our pineapple. Ooh, that's a good one too. I should make a Bradley and which code? Actually, code should be Bradley. Do you have people who will be helping? Definitely be helping set you up, set up the day before the show. Sean is gonna help me hang everything. I don't know if I'll have help with anything else, but today I'm gonna bring this to the gallery with Dakota. So, anyway, let me show you a couple of shots and then. Oh, I hate the new YouTube. And I'll, uh, I, I gotta head out. Hold on, let me fold this up. Hold on, there we go, there we go. So, sorry about the, the messiness, the clutter, not the messiness, but the uh, crampedness, but you kind of get the idea, right? You can read the stuff. No one's gonna even think that these are made crates. I doubt it. Like, like that I made them specifically or in that that stuff means stuff. Well, except for th those of you who are coming to the show who watch here on YouTube, who follow my Instagram, right? I might have it so that the, the creature is the other way or whatever, or that I'm sitting. Oh, that just went right into my hip. Like that hurt. Um, you know what I'm saying. Let me, let me move back a little bit, a little way up here. Yeah, that's just gonna look like crates. They're gonna think all your stock came to the gallery in the crates. Yeah, that's probably it. Thank you, Renda. Let's see if we can go. Oh, Renda, I haven't seen you in such a long time. Oh, you know what? I'll probably put a stencil on that one there. I wish I had more this side up stickers. I need just one more. Let me just have a quick look. 
But anyway, I'm going to take off, guys. I gotta, I'm going to meet Dakota. We're going to go to the gallery. We're also going to go to this costume shop to get an astronaut helmet. If anyone has an astronaut helmet that they would like to send me, I can buy it off you. Or... Dude, this guy's trying to... I need an astronaut helmet. I don't know if I'll find one today, but I might. We'll see. Too bad I don't have a hot dog sticker. I have a pizza. Oh, oh, oh! This side up. Thank you, Amy, for these stickers. I wish I had more. Oh, I can put... Wish you tat stickers on them, too. I could even put a crowbar. I could even put a a crowbar with it. Like it was just opened up. But the lid is not there, so never mind. I'm not going to do that. Okay. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out. I hope you dig it. If you didn't see the video, I uploaded it yesterday. There's a link in the description that you can check out uh, of the full build of this. It includes the crate, of course. Today, we obviously just focus on the crates as per the suggestions in that video in the comment section. But I also show how I made this. It's kind of hard to see because of the glare, but it's basically just a... Loosely based off of whatever that animal is that David Attenborough says in... Oh, wait. Actually, that's in the short. I didn't release the short yet. Maybe I'll, I'll upload the short later today if I remember. But anyway, you'll, you'll see. If you watch the short, I have David Attenborough's voiceover briefly in there. And he mentions whatever this creature is called. I forget what it's called. Uh, it's loosely based on that. Obviously, I just kind of took some artistic liberties by not doing all the details. I just did this really quick. If I wanted to, I could do a lot more detail into it, but nah, it's 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 just meant to be a table, not actually a display piece. It's going to be mostly covered, I imagine, with markers and whatever. Who knows? Who knows? But you're all invited to the gallery April 19th. 2024. I said 4 to 9 in some of the promo material that I made, but it's actually 4 to 8. So if you come at 8, we might be gone. The mall closes at 8. So it might go longer, but it's all kind of up to what's happening. Uh, I, think that's it. I think that's it. Okay. Alright. Have a good night or a day, whatever, wherever, whatever it is, wherever you are. And uh, I'll see you next time. Frick, this is so cool. I love this. I can't go. Ah, oh, you should come anyway. Uh, someone, someone pick up Karen on the way here. <laughs> she has a, a good knowledge of all my art because she cataloged, or she made a little cataloged list of everything so that when I have my print sales, it's easy for people to see. Anyways. Alright. Good night. Why am I saying night? It's not night. I'm used to not being awake in the morning. Alright. Okay. Goodbye.